Hello, everyone. Welcome to the presentation of our paper, Towards a Better Understanding of Query Reformulation Behavior in Web Search. As queries submitted by users directly affect their search experiences, query reformulation has always been a bottleneck issue in web search. It is therefore of vital importance to provide query reformulation support in SERPs. To help search engines better fulfill users' information needs, a large body of research has focused on designing better frameworks for query suggestion or query auto-completion. However, these data-driven methods only relied on coarse-grained representations of the user's previous knowledge within the session to fit the observational data, for example, predicting the next query. Few existing studies on query formulation have taken a further step in understanding user intents behind the query formulation. Moreover, modern search engines usually provide a series of entries or interfaces for users to better reformulate their queries. How users will reformulate their queries with these supports from search engines is still under-investigated. To shed light on the above issues, we conducted a large-scale field study to collect both implicit user behavior signals as well as a first-tier feedback concerning query formulation. In the field study, we recruit 50 participants via an online questionnaire. After signing a consent form and agreeing with our data collection policies, Participants applied for our field study and were instructed with the requirement via an online meeting. They were also told to install a browser extension on their personal computers. After the pilot study, they were told to use their personal computer for daily search anywhere as usual. We collect the data via an annotation platform and a Chrome extension. The data collection process lasted for about a month. The Chrome extension records the participants' daily search activities, such as queries, mouse movements, timestamps, and etc. The annotation platform records their feedbacks, such as satisfaction, reformulation reason, inspiration, and etc. An overview of explicit information we collected is presented in Table 1. As we introduce some new concepts in this paper, here we give some examples of the options for reformulation type, reason, entry, and inspiration source in Table 2. Finally, we collected over 2,000 sessions with at least two queries. Some information of our collected data is presented in this slide. In the next, we will first answer research question 1. How do users' query formulation behaviors involve within search sessions? Here, we analyze the chains for both syntactic level and intent level reformulation type. The main findings are Firstly, Users tend to narrow down the search scope by adding constraints on queries at the beginning of a session. Secondly, they gradually shift their intents to other subtopics by replacing some terms from the previous queries. Thirdly, compared to short and medium sessions, there is a smaller proportion of ad actions in long sessions, which may be due to the ambiguity of intent in complex tasks. The difficulty of reformulation can be the direct course for long sessions and should be emphasized. Last, the chains in the intent level taxonomy are similar to that in a syntactic one. As for the reformulation entry, we find that users submitted most queries via the search input box, followed by the hot queries. To our surprise, the proportions of query suggestions and related entities are very small. This phenomenon shows that users seldom access the interfaces provided by search engines for reformulation. 
We have also analyzed the inspiration source of reformulation within the session. Several findings are: firstly, different from the results in the last subsection, there are about 70% reformulations impacted by other components on SERP. This gap suggested that. Although these entries are not frequently accessed by users, they provide some inspirations for them. Another interesting finding is that users are likely to be inspired by search snippets and landing pages equally, which implies the effectiveness of search snippets in inspiring users and the convenience they provide, so that users do not need to click into landing pages. However, the majority of the reformulation inspirations come from neither SERPs nor landing pages. Users are likely to depend more on themselves when reformulating the query in longer sessions. There may be two main reasons. First, search engines do not provide sufficient guidance for users in complex or in-domain topics. Second, the quality of existing query suggestions cannot fully satisfy user search purpose. Research question two: Do users perform reformulations differently under various search intents? To investigate how users' search intents would translate to their reformulation behaviors, we make a detailed comparison on the search effort and gain. The proportion of each reformulation actions and the user actions under various intents. The dimensions we considered, including the search intent trigger, the intent specificity, and users' domain expertise. To test the differences between each group, we conducted significance tests via Cruz-Carvalho's edge test and Dewan's post hoc test with. Bonferroni correction. Generally, we find that all dimensions have a great impact on user search effort and gain, especially in the query-related behaviors. However, domain expertise does not have significant effect on reformulation behaviors. An intent trigger has the largest impact on reformulate. Or reformulation behaviors, as well as user actions, followed by the specificity of intent. We also find differences for tasks with virus intent triggers. For example, in interest-driven sessions, less effort, lower task difficulty, and higher satisfaction. There are higher unique term ratio and more diverse intents. Search users depend more on search engines for reformulation, and they are more likely to be inspired by the contents on SERPs. However, task-driven sessions are more difficult and with lower search success, even with more effort. And users always pay more effort in reformulation. And the unique term ratio is also lower. There are more overlapped terms between consecutive queries. Users are always searching for a better formulation of their information need by attempting more generalized queries, synonyms, and intrinsically diverse queries. As for the interest in task-driven condition. Most values are the interpolation between the two extremes, and the task is with high difficulty but also with higher satisfaction. We find that users are more willing to narrow down the search scope step by step until they have found enough useful information and browse the pages more carefully. We guess that both search interests and the purpose of task completion may motivate users to be more engaged in the search process, and this will cause the success of the search process. Similarly, there are also differences between various intent specificity. However, we find that domain expertise does not have significant effect on most reformulation variables. One interesting finding is that in-domain users formulate more specialized queries with less inspiration from search engines. 
they may rely more on their own knowledge for current reformulation. Summary for section four. To answer research question one, first, user search process can be summarized into a two-phase process: specialization to internship. Second, users mainly use the search box for query reformulation. However, a certain proportion of their inspirations are from SERPs and landing pages, indicating that there is a potential for search engines to better provide query suggestion services by leveraging session contacts. Third, as users pay too much effort on complex search tasks. Search engines should be improved in guiding users to better reformulate their queries. To answer research question two, first, users' reformulating behaviors can be largely influenced by both the trigger and the specificity of their intents, while their domain expertise has less effect. Second, existing query suggestion services in SERPs. Benefit interest-driven task more. However, in task-driven sessions where users need to pay more efforts, search engines only provide limited assistance. In research question three, we address two novel challenges by predicting: first, why users leave the current SERP and reformulate the query; second, how they reformulate the current query. To better tackle the second challenge, we split it into two subtasks: whether users will use other reformulating entries except for the search box, and if so, which entry they will access. We then extracted five feature groups from our collected data, and then applied some machine learning approaches to solve the three tasks. According to the experimental results, we find it possible to predict finer grade user intents behind their reformulations by leveraging session level contextual information. Although our experiment is a premier step, it can serve as a reference for more intensive work in the future. Conclusions: To our best knowledge, this is the first work to thoroughly investigate multiple aspects of users' reformulating behaviors. Based on the practical data collected from a field study, we have analyzed the session-level chains of delicate aspects of reformulation and the distribution of each reformulating behaviors with various search intents. Inspired by the Analysis. We have also designed a supervised learning approach to predict why and how users reformulate queries, both of which are novel in this domain. The experimental results, for example, the feature importance performance across subtasks, as well as the task design, can serve as guidance for more intensive work in the future. Insight and guidance to adapt to users' intents. The search scope of query recommendation can be broad at the beginning of sessions, but should be gradually narrowed down according to the follow-up queries issued by users. Search engines' assistance in saving users' search effort in complex or task-driven sessions is limited, and one possible measure is to provide interactive summarization or snippets in the exploratory search process. Moreover, users behave differently in query reformulation with various search intent triggers and specificity, so we can better identify user intents and task property to further predict task difficulty as well as satisfaction. All of these are helpful in the optimization of search engines. For example. Balance exploration and exploitation for recalling relevant documents, or providing guidance for search users. Last but not least, we find that it is possible to model delicate aspects of user reformulations by leveraging contextual information within sessions. Limitations. Due to the limit of our browser extension, we only consider the reformulation engines in two commercial search engines. There may be more forms of reformulation interfaces in other search engines that we have not considered. In addition, the inspiration source was collected by explicit annotation. 
and more sophisticated techniques such as eye checking can also be applied in the future. That's all for my presentation. Thank you for your listening.